We're here at the Museum of Modern Art, one of my favorite art museums. We are gonna get a chance to see some of the most famous works of art. Let's get inside and get started. Follow me. This episode is funded by the Glick Fund and the Crystal DeHaan Family Foundation, who inspire philanthropy and creativity. We are here in front of the, oh, I'm so excited, one of my favorite Warhol paintings with uh, Larissa Bailiff. Thank you so much for taking some time to talk to us about this. Oh, you're very welcome, Nate. I am so anxious. Please tell us about this beautiful big painting. Well, in some ways it speaks for itself, right? Oh, this yes. large painting that, that is suffused with gold and speaks to the notion of celebrity. So this was made in 1962. It's his first Marilyn, and it was made shortly after she died. So we're at the beginning of what we would call the pop art movement um, that wasn't even full blown at this point. Hmm. This idea of pop art that draws on consumer goods, mass media, and popular culture. Yeah. Just the things that Andy Warhol was really interested in. How would he actually apply that paint? I mean, how, what, what am I looking at when I look at the Marilyn part of this? Right, so he's covered the surface with the gold first, so okay. it completely covered the surface and, and painted that. And then he's used a process called silk screen. So he's working with a photograph that is screen printed on a piece of silk. You use glue and um, the image is transferred and then the ink will uh, avoid where the glue is and then you get the transfer of the image so that's placed on top and then he's painted over that and you can see that um, the sort of dark details and some blurry and also where he's gone over it with paint. Why the colors that he chose? I mean they're beautiful contrasting against the gold but but why did he use those colors so often? Isn't it? Um, I, I think it's a really it's interesting, um, it's beautiful and, and maybe in some ways kind of garish. I mean it, it certainly pops out. Um, when I look at those colors I think wow bright very much of the 60s, um, these day glow colors. And I think it's interesting because in some ways he's coloring the face. Mm -hmm. Instead of it being just black on gold, we get some details. He picks up her platinum hair, but he magnifies it. He shows us the makeup, for instance, she, she might wear, although it's kind of messily applied. Um, but he lets certain things pop and it, it really draws attention and the bright red lipstick for which she was known. Oh yeah, and I mean, when the more I look at it, it seems like it's it's in a way a shrine, almost to her, or, or kind of a memorial. Absolutely. Of some sort. I mean, knowing that you know she's just passed away, and he's honoring her, he's celebrating her in this portrait, and she's surrounded in gold, right? He grew up going to church, and often in church we find something we call icons. Mm -hmm. um, the idea of painted saints sort of floating in paintings, often in some churches with a gold background. So he's enshrined her, as you say, the kind of face in the center okay. there. Since he was using a method that could be, like you said, repeated, yeah. I mean, how did the art world take we have got a graphic designer moving into right. this realm of like painter, so. Right. Well, it's, I mean, it's so very interesting. And what about a graphic designer, you know, not only moving into fine art, but using a film still, then silk screening it. Yeah, it's kind of a little you stealing, know. but yeah. it's, it's appropriating, right? I mean, right, it's appropriating right. pulling um, this image and using, reusing it, so to speak, mm -hmm. for a portrait. Right? I mean, what is the notion of a portrait, a, a one-off? And here, this is something you can potentially mass reproduce. And in fact, he would go on to make many portraits of Marilyn and other icons or celebrities where he would repeat it over and over again. So we've got a lot of issues going on. But to your question of how did the art world receive this, it was a little iffy at first. Mm. At first, people said, that's your field. You're a commercial artist. Why don't you just stay in that? Fine art is about, you know, the hand touch and the individual quality and people were looking to artists like Jackson Pollock with the idea of abstraction being this fancy exalted style that, that was expressive and here Warhol is coming to it with a sense of visual communication and instant right. identification and using those tools of graphic design or commercial illustration in really interesting ways and to provoke us. And so much of pop art is about that. It's kind of exposing consumerism or showing that things might be more about surface or, or playing in between the idea of what is art and, and what is, is design or what is advertising. But then think about it, Marilyn Monroe, she was a product in some ways. She was a celebrity that people felt that they knew. They knew her through magazines and through movies. And even here, he's, he's thinking about that idea of surface, mm. the idea of a film still, of a part that she's playing, of makeup 
to become something else that we think that we know. And some of that has to do with branding and advertising. So he really allows a certain slippage. Oh yeah, definitely, especially with the colors. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 in a lot of ways, it feels surreal. Like you know her, but then she's like untouchable. Right, I mean, absolutely. We think we know that's Marilyn, but what is she really? Is she playing a part? Who is that? And then all shrouded in gold. And I want us also to think about the way he's used that silk screen in the center with that kind of roughness to it, the, the not polished um, yeah. image there. Yeah, it's almost got kind of a, a, a bleed through of this like black. It's just not, yeah, it's like he, could, he said, I didn't know he could have made it crisp. He really could. But it was so on the one hand, we have this instantly recognizable, then we have this kind of blurriness, maybe kind of keeping us a little at distance, or maybe it's like a fade out. Here she is, a golden goddess. Mm of the silver screen. Ah, thank you so much for taking some time to talk about this painting. Larissa, it is beautiful. I so appreciate it. Thank you, Nate. It's been great fun. Hey, did you know that subscribing to our channel is one of the most epic things you can do? That's right. Subscribe now, share our episodes, so that we can actually make more of these things. I'm not going to lie. I love showing you where creativity and innovation are happening. Get on board and be outrageous.